Hi guys, welcome back to Scanning the Mind. Today we're going to be learning about the best ways to learn anatomy, whether you're a medical student or a practicing clinician. While my anatomy isn't too strong, we do have our own anatomy expert here today, and his name is Varun. Alright mate, how's it going? Fancy seeing you here. Great channel you've got here. Thanks mate, yeah. couldn't have done it without you. Varun is a trainee, aka resident radiologist, and he's just passed his first radiology exams. And he did pretty well. I mean, he won't say himself, but he smashed it. On top of that, he's also passed both the surgical exams you need to do. Now, while Varun isn't good at a lot of things, as he'll agree himself, he is pretty good at anatomy. Thanks for the kind words and the uh, backhanded compliments, Sancho. Uh, I think for this rest of the video, we don't really need you anymore, mate. Oh. So, well, see you later. So, just as a quick preface, guys, I completely neglected anatomy during medical school. It's pretty safe to say that if anatomy had been a separate module at my medical school, I would have flunked all the years. I learned all my anatomy from scratch in my FY1 year, so it's my first year as a doctor. It took me two to three months, uh, and this is on top of working a 40 to 45 hour rotor. So if you're a full-time student, a medical student, you can definitely do it in a fraction of that time. We're gonna be talking through what resources I used and how I used them, and how you can become a master in anatomy in three months time. So you only need three things. There's a free website called teachmeanatomy.com. There's an app called Essential Anatomy. And there is an optional website slash resource called IMAOS, which you only really need if you're a radiology trainee or interested in radiology. The other thing I'd say is don't bother spending hundreds of pounds on textbooks and courses and all this. I hate Grey's Anatomy with a passion. So if you already bought it with your hard-earned money, commiserations. Now, before I start, all these resources that I've mentioned will be linked down below. We're not sponsored by any of them, so before you start moaning, oh, you guys are sold out, na 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 na. Not sponsored by any of them. Although, if any of you are watching and you want to sponsor us, hit us up. Teach me anatomy. So this website, as I said, is a free website. I spent the first month just reading through the entire website. It's helpfully split into head, neuroanatomy, thorax, abdomen, limbs, etc. So I worked my way through the website, beginning from the top, so the head, and working my way down to the lower limbs. This website really gave me a strong foundation in clinical anatomy, and it took me around two to three hours of reading each day over the course of the month or so to really be happy with it and have a good foundation which I could build on using the anatomy app and the other website which I'll be talking about. I personally don't make notes uh, or draw the pretty pictures that you see some of the people drawing, mainly because I can't really draw, um, but that's just me. If you're like somebody who likes taking notes, by all means go ahead. Although, making notes is not the right thing to do. After the first month, once I had a good sort of basis on, on which to build on, I went back to the website, except this time I used the Essential Anatomy app, which you can see here. As you can see, when you open the app up, it brings up a human body. You can layer it so you can put in certain types of body parts whether you're interested in vasculature, whether you're interested in the organs, you can bring them up as you go along. You can spin the body 360 degrees, you can dissect through them, you can remove parts, add parts, add muscles and layers. It's really a very comprehensive app. The reason I like doing this is because I really struggle to visualize the anatomy in 3D. What I found when I was reading through the website I mentioned earlier was while I felt like I could understand it, when I actually looked at a human body or looked at a cadaver or looked at a scan, I struggled to understand how everything fit together in 3D. So for example, let's say I was learning about the abdomen and I was going through the abdomen part of Teach Me Anatomy. I would open this app up on my phone besides the website. And let's say I was, for example, learning about the omentum and the liver. As you can see here, you can add the abdominal organs, include the omentum. You can remove parts, see what's behind it, look at the lesser and greater sacs, for example. This will all make sense if you actually use the app. So once I finished this process, which was another month or so, this really helped my spatial awareness of the anatomy, which is obviously essential whether you're a surgeon or a radiologist. So in my day job, this is pretty vital. Now, if you're just a medical student, you can probably stop at these two steps and you basically learn the anatomy in two months. And like I said earlier, if you're a medical student and you're doing this full time, so studying is your full time job, you can do this way quicker than two months. Now, if you are interested in radiology or you're a radiology trainee, the next thing I used was a website called IMAOS. It's essentially a website where you can scroll through normal CT scans and MRI scans of essentially all the parts of the body and it gives you the normal anatomy and the scans are labelled with all the anatomy as well. This really helped me in my radiology exams because in our anatomy exam for radiology, 
they give you random pictures of random slices of any part of the body with an arrow saying, what is this? And scrolling through this, looking at the normal anatomy really helped me. And obviously it helps with the day job. I think it is quite pricey. Fortunately, we get it for free through our training program. Because it's so pricey, it's probably not something I would buy unless I was a radiology trainee or very interested in radiology, but found really useful. And if you are planning on becoming a radiologist, I'd say it's invaluable. Another optional extra, if you are planning on becoming a surgeon or you're already a surgical trainee, I read this textbook called, what's it called? I read this book called Surgical Talk. We'll pop it up here or, well, Sanchi will do it here or there somewhere. It's quite a wordy and old school book, but to really help me understand anatomy from a clinical point of view, as it ties together anatomical principles with the pathology, so you can actually apply what you're learning day to day. Definitely helped me pass my Part B MRCS. There was a few questions they asked me in the exam, which were word for word out of the book. So if you're planning on doing that exam, 100% would recommend it. And that's it. The whole process took me around three months to learn anatomy from scratch. At the end of the three months, my anatomy was probably as good as it's ever going to be. If anything, it's probably deteriorated a bit since then because as with everything, when you're about to do an exam, your knowledge peaks. You can come back now, Sanjit. Wow, well, that's it then. So, well, it took you three months. I only really need to know the anatomy of the brain. So what do you think, a week, two weeks? For you, yeah. I'd give it three months. Oh, right, okay. So guys, if you found any of that useful, give us a like, drop a comment, and please subscribe to the channel. If you've got any other videos that you want us to make or any ideas that you think we should explore, drop us an email or a comment down below. Apart from that, we'll see you guys next time.